If you want to uninstall applications from your MacBook, there are a couple of ways to do that and in this video you will learn some of them. Currently I am on macOS Sonoma, but if you are using an older macOS version, the results can be different, so from time to time make sure to upgrade your system. Now if you open your launchpad, you can find your applications. Click on the app that you want to delete and hold it until you see they start moving. Now you see that some of the applications here have an X icon. You can simply click on the icon for deleting the application easily. But if you look carefully, not all of these applications have this option here. So to uninstall your applications, there is another way. From your finder, you need to go to your applications folder. And here you can find your installed applications. Here you can simply drag and drop an application to your bin folder on the right side to remove it. So the app is gone, but it isn't permanently deleted. To delete it permanently, you need to open your bin folder, right click on the icon, and for deleting it permanently, you need to select delete immediately. If that's a mistake, then you can say put it back, and the app will be taken out of the bin folder and will go back to its original place. Even if this way by dragging the applications to the bin folder is an easier solution, it might not always delete all of the applications because some of them have their own uninstall methods. So the third way is from your Apple menu, go to your system settings, click on general and select storage. You can also see your application details here and how much space it takes. To see more details, click on the I button and here you will find all of your installed applications. For example, I have here a game installed and you cannot delete this game simply by dragging it to the bin folder the delete button here is also disabled because this game has its own uninstallage so for permanently removing this application i need to do it from its own uninstaller by selecting this option here however if you choose another application let's say this one then you will have the option to delete it by clicking on this button you will also find here some additional information, for example, how much space you will free on your storage if you accept to delete this application, and it won't land to your bin folder, but it will be permanently deleted, so that's why it also says you can't undo this action if you accept to delete it, which is also a good shortcut if you prefer to use this way rather than sending your files every time to your bin folder, because if you go back, you will see that the bin folder also takes a lot of space on your storage. Make sure to empty your MacBook's bin from time to time by clicking on this button here. I hope you find this video helpful and if you do, please hit the like button and see you in the next video.